Okay, we're at the Albury Park Hotel in Hemel Hempstead. I'm joined by Steve Goodwin, who's obviously Goodwin Promotions, the head man at Goodwin Promotions. Steve, you've obviously recently signed a deal down in Portsmouth to do shows down in Portsmouth with Michael Ballingale. Just tell people a little bit about that deal and obviously what's going to happen over the next 12 months or so. Well, I was asked by Michael to uh, manage and help promote Floyd Moore, who's the most well-known fighter down that area, having been Southern Area Champion uh, last December. And I manage Floyd now. But uh, it's not just about Floyd, it's about the rest of the boxers in the area. I think that the South Coast has been starved of really major, major events. There was a good uh, show this year where Floyd um, fought Adam Dingsdale and we've seen some really good fights with uh, Tony Oki in the past but in recent times there's not really been some major events and we want to start staging some of the biggest events ever staged down in the area. Um, Floyd will be an integral part of that and we'll be working alongside Michael who manages quite a few fighters down that area uh, and any other pros down in the Portsmouth area and we expect to really build this up over the next 12 months and the amount of shows we're intending to do will make us South Coast uh, Premier Promoter down there without a doubt and it's going to be very very exciting working alongside Michael and his team of fighters. So I know it's difficult for you to say at the moment but do you have a number in your head at the moment of how many shows you think you'll do in this year in 2014 and into 2015? Well we're definitely going to run two shows this year the first one on the 20th of September and the second one being on the 5th of December and then we're looking at doing a major event uh, towards the end of March down in uh, down in Portsmouth and um, we're looking for any boxers from any of the uh, surrounding areas that want to be involved in this uh, to get in touch with either ourselves or Michael um, and we'll be looking to, to stage a big show and we really want a big big time boxing back there. Next year we've already planned in the March as I've said and I would hope we'll do between four to six shows as a minimum down in that area. Um, the more boxers that want to get involved in this or managers down in that area that want to be a part of it the more shows we'll do the bigger they'll be and it'd be nice if in uh, 2016 we can stage a major open air show down there um, there's plenty of really good venues and if Floyd Moore gets to where we want him to be we'll hopefully do a really big open air show for him down there. Okay so you said that obviously the South Coast has been starved of big boxing events what do you think or Goodwin Promotions can do differently uh, that hasn't been done before what do you think that you bring to the table that perhaps hasn't been done recently? Well I think promote them promote the events um, I think what we, we try to do is not just give boxers tickets and expect them to sell them. We want to promote the boxers, get the local community to do that. We will do press conferences down in Portsmouth, open air, maybe sparring sessions down in Portsmouth, weigh-ins, you know, some, maybe in shopping centres down there, but really, really give them big time boxing, but with big time promotion as well. And I think it is too easy sometimes for promoters, and I don't blame them just to sit back and you know and just do it on a smaller scale but sometimes you need to invest a bit of money and a bit of man hours into developing something and, uh, and uh, as you know Kev you're on board the Goodwin team believe in actually developing the whole concepts and bringing new ideas to the table such as our evening press conferences which are coming up and we'll be doing that down in Portsmouth but we're going to do a rebuilding program with Floyd and we're going to start off small in Portsmouth but watch it explode next year. Okay so you've obviously got a couple of shows this year you said and obviously the, the four to six shows next year so obviously you looking for more fighters in the South Coast area to come on board and obviously join with yourself or Michael, is that, is that the plan? 100%, I mean if, if you've got fighters there that are under management then the managers should contact me if you've got unattached fighters down in the South Coast that want to turn pro, get hold of Michael Ballingale, he'll, he'll look after you down at Bally's Gym in Portsmouth um, but either one of us, we're working together as a team, um, alongside with the rest of our pr promotional partners, um, and it's just going to be great, so those boxers down there that are thinking oh, I want to turn pro, this is really your time you may not have wanted to go pro before because you've not been, you've, there's not been a plan of action down there but trust me we're going to turn it around in Portsmouth. I was asked about doing it in Southampton by somebody yesterday but we've got to take it one step at a time. Um, there's a good venue down in Southampton but you know, for us we're going to start off in Portsmouth and Southampton to Portsmouth is not far away so fighters can start by jumping on the Portsmouth shows and if it's successful enough and they do well enough then we may be able to take the whole concept down to Southampton as well but th that South Coast is in for a really good experience in time of boxing. And that's exactly what I was going to say that the South Coast has been perhaps undersold recently in, in yeah. recent times the last 12 months there's a lot of good amateurs down there. Do you think there's an untapped market down there? Do you think there's a real possibility? Because obviously south of London it can be, you know, there isn't so many shows around. Is it something you think you can really tap into and really establish yourself down there? 100%. We're looking at not just Portsmouth, we're looking at other areas as well at the moment um, for next year. Um, we've 
got plenty of shows on at York Hall, which is you know, which is exciting for all the London fighters. But we want to do the same thing for fighters around the country. But we need good partnerships with with people such as Michael to make it work in different areas. But I, I'm sure that uh, with Michael and us working together, that we could that, that a lot more boxers can come on board and we can stage you know bigger, better, faster shows. So just of the the one on the 20th of September at the Pyramid Centre, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Who's on the card at the moment? Well, that that one Josh is looking after that. As you know, we're off in Turkey on a training camp, and uh, Josh, my son, has agreed to promote that with um, down Goodwin there. Sports. That is, Goodwin isn't it? Sports, yeah. And he's promoting that show with Michael. We won't be there. Um, we're we're going to be enjoying ourselves in the sun. But uh, you know, Josh will be looking after that show. And you got Floyd Moore on there. Chris Hobbs, who's fighting Sam Cousins, which is a good fight for Chris. Uh, Andy Gattenby's fighting Isham Pickering. That's a cracking fight. There's some good fights there, and obviously this has been done as a rush because we only agreed to start this off about 10 days ago. So this has been, you know, all. Th extremely uh, done at uh, quite haste but yeah we're putting it together Michael's been great great instrumentally in helping us do that um, but you know the next ones after this will be bigger and better than this so just bringing the Turkey training camp you just said about that obviously we're away in, in Turkey taking some fight as well yeah. do you just want to explain to people what the deal is behind that and obviously why you're taking them out there and uh, you know why you're doing it etc yeah I think the the thing about bo when I came into boxing was one of the biggest criticisms that people had as had of me was that I didn't come from a boxing background and I always said to people I felt that was an advantage because we could then look at things from a totally different angle and I looked at boxing and thought what can fighters get that they're not getting and I think we're slowly developing that but I think fighters sometimes need to be treated treated like you know they want to be treated so we're taking fighters out to Turkey we're paying for we're paying their flights paying the accommodation we're helping them out with um, we're paying car hire for them and we are just we want to say look thanks for everything you've done for us and we're going to do this on a regular basis and it's, it's going to be to let fighters go out there train at train in the mountains have sparring every night go to gyms and just enjoy it and the trainers can come and have a break as well and it's about creating a bonding with the fighters getting to know them better um, and also just giving them something back because it's okay taking letting boxers go on training camps but when they get a massive um, all the fees deducted from their purses it's not so good on paper but these boxers here are getting treated the way that they want to be treated and we will be doing these regularly and the fighters that are working with us will have the opportunity to come on board and do this as well well I'm pleased you're doing it I think you should do more especially as I come on most of them so I think <laughs> I think you should do it 15 times a year but no alright so, well, so, so the 20th of September we've got the uh, Ports of 1 and 5th of December is there anything else you want to add about the Portsmouth show just before we bring it to an end? No, if you want tickets, get hold of the fighters that are on the bill. They've, they've, got, they've got them to sell and we want to help them as well. Um, but it's just going to be the first one of, of many that uh, the different branches of the Goodwin Boxing will, will produce. And just watch out the South Coast. And you boxers out there that are thinking of turning pro, get hold of ourselves or Michael and get on board because it's going to be exciting times ahead for you. All right, Steve, thanks very much.